do you remember the severe environmental and economic disaster that was caused by the Express Pearl incident 20th of May 2021 it has been more than two years and eight months since this ship sank in the Sea of Sri Lanka that is 32 months 25 tons of nitric acid 1486 containers containing various chemicals and cosmetics millions of plastic nurdles on board the vessel were also spilled into the sea The bodies of nearly 200 dead sea turtles washed ashore due to the poisonous substances that contaminated the sea water. The damage caused to whales and other sea creatures and the marine environment as a whole is unfathomable. The loss caused to our fishing industry is also serious. However, the fishing community did not receive proper compensation. We continue to experience the negative impact of this maritime disaster even to date. Do you remember the statements made by Dr. Nalaka Godaheva, the then State Minister responsible for coastal protection and cleanup activities? He announced at the time that the process of getting compensation for the damage had already begun. Statements made by Nalaka Godaheva suggesting a possible link between the death of the turtles and the monsoon season during that period was also controversial. The lukewarm policy of politicians and some officials was also evident through these statements and their conduct. It was revealed in Parliament that millions of dollars had been credited to certain individual accounts, while Sri Lanka had not received any compensation for the damage that was caused. Time passed by. The compensation was forgotten. Now the compensation that the government can get from the company that owns the ship has been limited to 19.5 million sterling pounds. The government demanded 6.4 billion dollars in compensation from the shipping company in the case filed at the Singapore court. But the compensation has not been received yet. Our country is trying to get a loan of only 2.6 billion dollars from the International Monetary Fund. The taxes imposed to fulfill the conditions imposed by the IMF to secure this loan are now weighing down on the general public of Sri Lanka. The people would not have had to suffer like this had the Express Pearl compensation been obtained properly. There has been no compensation received even though it has been 1000 days since this disaster. What's even more startling is the fact that the Fishermen's Association in the area claim that a group of people have secretly taken away 48,000 metric tons of iron from the ruins of the ill-fated Express Pearl. Express Pearl it's been 1000 days since the Express Pearl vessel caught fire. Now there's no ship. No compensation and no solution to the damage caused to the environment. The ship is no more. It was carried away. No one knew. We didn't get the required compensation. This situation has arisen due to the lack of proactive action from the government.